Chapter 13 Manufacturing Industries Introduction The process in which man can change the natural resources into usable conditions according to his intellectual, cultural and economic capacity is called industry. In India, the industrial traditions are found since Indus Valley Civilization. At that time, India used to prepare cotton textile, clay utensils, things of bell metal and beads. Up to 18th century, India was ahead in shipbuilding industry. India was also ahead in handicrafts and in cottage industries. There was a heavy demand of Indian cotton cloth, muslin cloth, metalled utensils and ornaments. With the beginning of Industrial Revolution in England, the Britishers used to take away raw material, especially raw cotton. They used to follow the policy of selling the goods manufactured in England at a higher price in India and the Indian market would collapse. This damaged the textile industry of India heavily and the Indian craftsmen. Importance of Industries Today, the existence of nations depend only on the development of industries. Economic development without the industrial progress will be impossible. Those countries which have developed more industrially have strengthened their economy equally. Countries like United States of America, Russia, Japan, South Korea are prosperous and developed nations on the basis of their industrial development. Those countries where industries are either not developed or are less developed are not capable to harness the natural resources as industrial raw material. They have to sell their natural resources at a cheaper price and purchase the things made of the same raw material from foreigners at a higher price. Manufacturing industries contribute 29% of the national production of India. The administrative policy of British rule broke the backbone of Indian industrial structure. During slaver period, industries with modern methods could not be started in India. In 1853, the first industrial complex of iron furnace based on charcoal was founded, but it failed. First successful attempt was made in 1854 in cotton textile industry. Thereafter, a jute mill was established in 1855 at Risra near Kolkata. In 1874, a factory was founded at Kulti for making iron ore, which was closed after few years. It was restarted in 1881. In 1907, a new dimension was provided with the founding of Tata Iron and Steel Company at Jamshedpur. Classification of industries Industries are divided on the basis of human labor, ownership and the sources of raw material. On the basis of human labor, the industries can be divided as small-scale and large-scale industries. Those industries where more employment is available is known as large-scale industry. Example, cotton textile industry. When an industry is under the direction of an individual's ownership and the number of laborers is also less, it is called small-scale industry. Example, sugar or khandsari industry. Besides these, industries can be classified as private, public, collaborative and cooperative groups. So, industries can be classified in many ways. On the basis of source of the raw material, the industries can be classified into agro-based industries and mineral-based industries. Agro-based industries Cotton textile, jute, silk, woolen textile, sugar, 
paper, etc., are industries based on the raw material obtained from activity based on agriculture. Cotton textile industry Garment industry has an important place in the industrial economy of India. This industry provides employment to about 3.5 crore people. Textile industry is the industry which provides maximum employment in the country. India holds second rank after China in the export of cotton textiles. It is the main industry from production and employment point of view. First cotton mill was established in Mumbai. Thereafter, Shahpur mills and Calico mills were established in Ahmedabad in Gujarat. In the initial years, the cotton textile mills were established in Mumbai and Ahmedabad. These mills were established due to cheap cotton, availability of labor, transport facilities, ports for export, and favorable markets. Today, cotton textile mills are located in about 100 cities of the country. Main traditional and important centers at present are Mumbai, Ahmedabad, Bhivandi, Sholapur, Kolapur, Nagpur, Indore and Ujjain. There are more mills in Mumbai in Maharashtra, hence it is also called as Cottonopolis of India. The industry is also established at Pune, Kolhapur, Aurangabad, Jalgaon cities. In Gujarat, Ahmedabad is also called as Manchester of the East or Denim City of India. Besides, Cities like Varodhra, Kalol, Bharuch, Surat, Porbandar, Bhavnagar, Rajkot, etc. are also included. Coimbatore is the main center of Tamil Nadu. Chennai and Madurai cities are also included. Main centers in Uttar Pradesh are Kanpur, Itawa, Agra, Lucknow, etc. Indore, Gwalior, Ujjain and Devas are main centers of these industries in Madhya Pradesh. In West Bengal, Kolkata, Howrah, Murshidabad are major centers. Cotton textile industry was set up also in Rajasthan, Punjab and Haryana. Extensive market centers, transportation, banks and electricity have contributed considerably in decentralization of this industry. Today, cotton textile industry is facing a tough competition due to the factors like inadequate supply of best variety of cotton, use of old machinery, irregular electric supply, competition from artificial fiber cloth in the market, and keen competition in global markets. India exports cotton textile cloth to Russia, United Kingdom, United States of America, Sudan, Nepal, Australia, France and South African countries. Jute textile industry Jute is second ranked major industry of India. India holds first place in the production of jute and goods made from jute. India is at second place after Bangladesh in the export of jute. Of the total jute production of the country, West Bengal produces 80%, Andhra Pradesh produces about 10% and the rest is produced by Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Orissa, Assam and Tripura. Much water is needed to purify jute. So most of the mills are located on the banks of Hooghly River. This industry is concentrated in West Bengal due to cheap labor force, banks and insurance coverage, port for export facility, etc. Today, the demand for jute has decreased because of other options in packing material for goods. Jute industry is facing such problems like more cost of production and decreasing demand of jute in international markets.
Silk textile industry. Silk production has a long tradition. After China, India ranks second in the world in silk production. In India, four types of silk are produced. These are mulberry, eri, tussar, and muga. Today, there are about 300 silk weaving mills in India. Major states producing silk are Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Punjab, and Jammu Kashmir. Silken clothes are exported to Europe, Africa, and Gulf countries. Besides, these are also exported to Germany, Singapore, USA, Kuwait, Malaysia, and Russia. In international market, Indian silk is facing a tough competition from China. Woolen textiles industry. As a cottage industry, the history of woolen textile industry is very old. Maximum woolen mills are in Punjab. Next comes Maharashtra. There are woolen mills in Uttar Pradesh also. Ahmedabad and Jamnagar in Gujarat are centers of woolen clothes. Other major centers are Bikaner and Jaipur in Rajasthan, Srinagar in Jammu Kashmir, and Bengaluru in Karnataka. India also produced woolen carpets. Woolen cloth is exported to America, Canada, Germany, France, Russia, etc. Synthetic textiles industry. The cloth made from synthetic fiber made by man is strong, durable, and does not retain wrinkles. Hence, this industry has developed very much. The cotton fibers are mixed with synthetic fibers to get mixed variety of cloth. Main producer of this industry are Kerala, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, etc. Other centers are Surat, Ahmedabad, Mumbai, Kanpur, Modinagar, Kolkata, Chennai, etc. Sugar industry. Making jaggery from the sugarcane juice is very old industry in India. Sugar industry stands second after textiles in agrarian industries in India. After reaping the crop of sugarcane, it has to be squeezed within 24 hours so that the amount of water is not reduced. Otherwise, its sugar contents will decrease. That is why the sugar factories are located near sugarcane growing centers. Sugar factories are located in Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, etc. This industry is developed in Gujarat at Bardoli, Gandevi, Olpad, Vyara, Bharuch, Kodinar, and Talalagir. Paper industry Paper is made out of soft wood, bamboo, grass, molasses, etc. It is produced in Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra, West Bengal, Odisha, Karnataka, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Tamil Nadu, Haryana, etc. Mineral-based industries Those industries wherein minerals are used as raw material are known as mineral-based industries. Industries such as iron and steel industry, aluminium industry, copper, chemical, fertilizers, cement, means of transportation, and electrical goods are mineral-based industries. Iron and steel industry. Iron and steel industry is the axis of modern industrial and the economic development. It is considered to be the base industry. 
machines and other constructions are produced from its productions. This can also be considered to be a key industry. The process of making iron is very old in India. Iron was imported from India to make swords in Damascus. The first factory in India to produce iron was established at Porto Nova in Tamil Nadu. It was closed due to some reasons. A successful production of raw iron was made at Kulti. In 1907, the factory established at Jamshedpur started producing iron steel on a very large scale. Factories were established at Burnpur in West Bengal and at Bhadravati in Karnataka. Iron and steel factories were also established in Bhilai, Raurkela and at Durgapur. Other large-scale factories were founded at Bukaro, Vishakapatnam and Salem. Iron ore, coal, limestone and manganese are used as raw material for producing iron steel. A mini steel plant has been found near Hajira in Gujarat. The administration of all iron steel factories except Tata is handed over to Steel Authority of India Limited, SAIL. India ranks fifth in the world in iron and steel production. Aluminium refining industry After iron and steel industry, aluminium refining is another important industry. This mineral is light in weight, strong, malleable, smooth conductor of electricity and rust proof. Bauxite is the aluminium ore. Other minerals are mixed with aluminium which is useful in making cars, railway, aeroplanes and machines. About 40 to 50 percent of expenses is incurred in electricity. So this industry is founded where hydroelectricity and bauxite are available easily. Factories producing aluminium are established in Odisha, West Bengal, Kerala, Uttar Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu. Copper Refining The usage of copper has increased due to its properties such as easy conductor of electricity and it can be mixed with other minerals easily. Copper is useful in electricity industry, in making of refrigerator, air conditioner, automobiles, radiators, domestic utensils, etc. First copper refining unit of India was founded by Indian Copper Corporation, ICC, at Ghatshila in Jharkhand. In 1972, ICC was handed over to Hindustan Copper Limited, HCL. Besides HCL, today, copper is produced by private sector also. Yet, the domestic production is not enough, so it has to be imported. Chemical Industry The position of chemical industry in India is important. Chemicals are of two types, organic and inorganic chemicals. Petrochemicals is the main organic chemical industry. It is used in artificial fibers, artificial rubber, plastic goods, color, chemicals and in medicines. Organic chemical industry is founded near oil refineries and petrochemical centers. India has an important position in the world in the insecticide industry. Gujarat leads in the country in chemical industry. Ahmedabad, Vadodara, Ankleshwar, Bharuch, etc. are major centers of chemical industry. Chemical Fertilizer Industry First chemical fertilizer factory of India was established in 1906 at Ranipat in Tamil Nadu. 
the development of this industry started when Fertilizer Corporation of India started its factory at Sindri. This industry is centered in Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab and Kerala. In Gujarat, the factories producing chemical fertilizers are located at Kalol, Kandla, Hajira, Bharuch, Badodra, etc. Plastic industry Plastic industry is also known as sunrise industry. There has been a constant increase in the demand of raw material for plastic. Because it is waterproof and can fit into any mold, it is used in packing chemicals, textiles, building construction, vehicle manufacturing, electronics, etc. Important centers producing plastic are Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Bengaluru, Vadodara, Vapi, Kanpur, Coimbatore and Chennai. Cement industry Cement is inevitable in construction of roads, dams, etc. India ranks second after China in cement production. It produces about 6% of the world production. Limestone, coal, gypsum, bauxite, clay, etc. are the raw material for cement industry. The raw materials and the products have more weight, so the cement factories are located where the raw material is available in abundance. There is a fairly good development of this industry in Gujarat. Transport Equipment Industry You might have seen many types of vehicles for travel. Earlier, there were animal-driven vehicles which were very slow. Today, in modern age, vehicles with faster speed along with the development of roads have come in usage. The industry which produces such vehicles is known as transport industry. Railway Railway services deserve appreciation of travelling in India. Railways manufacture the equipment of its own requirement by itself, such as railway engines, passenger coaches, goods coaches, etc. These are also produced privately. There are three types of railway engines, steam, diesel, electric. The steam engines are now used only for the heritage trains which are run only for tourism purposes. Diesel and electric engines are produced at Mihijam in Chitaranjan Locomotives Works in West Bengal. Diesel Locomotives Works at Varanasi and the Tata Locomotive Works at Jamshedpur. Passenger coaches are manufactured at Perambur, Bengaluru, Kapurthala and Kolkata. Road Vehicles Before independence, we used to manufacture cars by assembling its imported parts. Now, the factory is manufacturing truck, bus, car, motorcycle, scooter and cycle are established in our country. The road vehicles are manufactured mostly by private sector. India ranks fifth in the world in the production of commercial vehicles. Today, the vehicles and their spare parts manufactured in India are exported to foreign countries. Tractors and cycles are produced in very large scale and we export them overseas. Shipbuilding Industry There is an ancient industry in India. In recent times, there are the centers to build ships of modern style. These are Vishakhapatnam, Kolkata, Kochi, Mumbai and Marmagao, which are in public sector. 
Kochi and Vishakhapatnam build ships of larger size. Private dockyards fulfill local needs. We have also started producing helicopters. Aircraft building units are established in Bengaluru, Koraput, Nasik, Hyderabad and Lucknow. The building of aircrafts for passenger travels has still not started in India. Electronic industry Radio set and telephone industry was established in India in 1905. This can be said to be the beginning of electronic industry in India. Bharat Electronics Limited, BEL, was established in 1956 in Bengaluru with the motive to manufacture equipment for Akashwani and weather department. Today, it produces various electronic equipment in collaboration with Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. This industry has brought a lot of changes in the normal life of the people, their lifestyle and the national economy. Bengaluru has become the capital of this industry. It is also called Silicon Valley of India. Software Park, Science Park and Technological Park are established for the development of this industry. The future of this industry in India is very optimistic. Industrial Pollution and Environmental Degradation Industrial production has a noteworthy contribution in the economic development of the nation. Industries have increased pollution and the environment has degraded. When the environmental conditions deteriorate due to natural or man-induced reasons, the quality of environment is reduced, which is called environmental degradation. Mainly four types of pollutions are created due to industries. Air pollution, water pollution, land pollution and noise pollution. Industries have polluted air and water to a great extent in the present age of competition. The air has become polluted due to very harmful gases like carbon monoxide and sulfur dioxide. Water pollution has increased due to industrial effluents. Today, many factories release their industrial waste in the rivers, ignoring the laws. Water today is heavily polluted than were polluted. Noise pollution is one of the reasons for deafness in human life. Due to old machinery in industries and means of transportation, the noise pollution has increased. Man experiences mental tension due to too much of noise. Remedies to curb environmental degradation The country should make progress, but the progress should be made in such a way that the environment is not degraded. The amount of pollution can be reduced with proper planning for industrial development. Pollution can be reduced also by selection of the quality equipment and fuel. The air pollution can be curbed through filter, scrubber, precipitators, etc. The water pollution can be prevented by releasing industrial effluents after proper treatment. Industrial water can be purified after due treatment.